the meat. Does anything that you want to say you can feel free at any point? With radiator. I can say whatever I want to. Yeah. Yes, you too. <laughs> So what are we doing right now? Like what's going on? Okay, all right. What is the shoot about? All right. So the the title of it was called um, Elemental Queens, but I think I want to go with now Queens and Queens of the Element, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much just want to tell like I guess the recreate retelling of the creation story through beauty and through the elements, like you know how they each play a part in kind of our daily life and how. Um, and I want to do something that's going to be beautiful and impactful and something that's not typical as well. Especially like I think when, especially in makeup, when we're doing conceptual shoots, you find that the makeup artists, the photographers, um, are are so leery in doing experimental, you know, makeup and doing things mm. that are like on darker skin or Latino skin because they're afraid of how it's gonna look or mm -hmm. it just it doesn't even come off. I don't know as editorial, for, you know, in their eyes. And I think that I don't know we're capable of doing that much and more. I think it just needs to be shown, needs to be have a life for it. Can you put some water on here for me? Absolutely. Um, so I think this is an opportunity oh. for us. To, oh, in the front of the kitchen. Okay. This is an opportunity for us to kind of do see something that's not typical and kind of expand on what we think is beautiful, what we see as, you know, common. You guys, yeah, that's all. Perfect. So what are you doing with me right now? Okay, so with you, I chose to do your element as fire. Um, not, I wanted to go with a person, um, with elements I feel like they admit that, that fit the personality. And from your pictures, you exude this confidence, you exude this kind of fiery uh, personality that I feel like would go well with the element. And I feel like, our hair, like, you know, is an extension of our personality and I think you're not afraid to play around, to, you know, take chances and again, this is continue to break the boundaries of what we can, of what, our, what we normally see. So, your element being fire, I think, was a perfect fit. And we're about to do kind of, it's actually a little bit Indian, um, Indian inspired because and uh, as far as the tribes, they wear these um, red bands across their face um, you see that a lot of the shaman wear it, and mm -hmm. it's kind of so, it's supposed to assemble power and knowledge, and I kind of want that to you know to be you as well. Don't like want it to the be, Amazon tribes. Yeah, exactly, like the Amazon tribes as well, exactly. Okay. So we're gonna be beautiful. Yeah, don't. That's something actually that's been taken from that kind of like you know we don't we don't get to see it as much as kind of gets it's sometimes seen as controversial or like you know, kind of doing stuff. Yeah, huh? These the Shingu. Mmm, that the tribe. Yeah. So the um the the four elements are of course earth, air, fire, water, and we just wanted to approach them in a not typical sense. So we have um you kind of playing a powerful, confident fire, and I think of the way um, one of our models today put it. You're actually the heat that forges, that forges movement and everything. It doesn't always have to be kind of like fire; it has to be destruction. And I'm so high. Um, we also want, um, I want to do something that's like, again, not typical, so we're gonna be doing something that's just a little bit above it just being just a photo shoot, or we're, we're actually gonna writing, like, I wanna write a, a, a story, kind of like a, how each, um, how each, uh, element kind of plays their part, what they do, how, what's their importance. Uh, so which is why I wanted to incorporate the movement shots as well, and I just wanted to show creation in a, you know, in, in, in a couple of different lights. I'm gonna try to get out of my mentality of like fire being evil. Yeah, it doesn't have to be evil exactly. Right. Like I didn't want it, I didn't want it to be like, you know, destructive or mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be something more more of it being power. Mm -hmm. Aware and in control of what your strength is and what you what you bring forth to the table. Mm -hmm. You ever and you because you exude that like in your everyday, I think that's why it fit perfect. At least, that's, at least that's what comes off in, you know, in your picture, so, and that's, that's our perception. That's what we see. That's what you came out, so. 
It's what you want us to see. What I, what attracted you? What made you want to do the the project though? You didn't have to say yes. <laughs> um, it seemed like a really interesting concept, and uh, yeah, I definitely want to be a part of that. I'm definitely gonna. I think the product in the end is gonna be something crazy. I'm gonna talk about so. We shall see. What are some of your goals as far as like, you know, where do you want to see yourself as far as 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 far as your hair journey and, you know, where do you see yourself going and doing? Where do you want to take this to? Man, I want to do so much. Mm -hmm. I want to model. I really do. That's I like want, the main, like the main main? I wouldn't call it the main main. I don't really know what the main main is. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's so honest. But what, one thing I do know is that I, do, I don't want to be employed by anybody. Gotcha. You want to make your own money. Right. Mm-hmm. It's when we find right now, especially like everyone who's making the real money or doing the kind of it's, it's because they're like entrepreneurs. They're making, they're taking the chances exactly. um, to to make it happen. But the, I think that we find that the problem is that because one, we're not taught, um, oh, and, and two, we don't seek out the knowledge to kind of make these take these opportunities, and mm -hmm. we're taught to be afraid and to be scared of you know take, making the risk, taking the jump. Right. I think. Um, one of, one of the things that I'm doing right now is, is in breaking that fear is that right now I'm currently employed. I have a, like a full-time job mm -hmm. and I have a place that, I, that where I'm living at where I'm okay. Like everything, I'm stable right now. There's nothing wrong with what I have going on right now in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm dropping everything that I have going on and I'm moving to Atlanta. I quit my job. I, <laughs> I like my friend told me on a Wednesday, hey, move to Atlanta on Thursday. I, bu I booked my ticket and on Friday I quit my job. Oh my God, that's so brave. It's, oh and everyone's been telling me, oh my God, how, yeah, you're so freaking crazy. I can't believe you did that. But that's what it is. Like, you're so freaking crazy. Like, like why? Why is it crazy to want to just pick up and, you know, and see something else and do something else? I think mm -hmm. we're against that fear that we can't make it anyplace else or we're not going to be okay someplace else. You have to take that chance right now, especially when we're not rooted in anything. You don't have no kids. You don't have like no no big responsibility tethering you down to any place. Why not take the opportunity to go out and jump and make it happen? Right. You, who's to know what the next part of your story is if you're not, you know, if you're not gonna take the jump and leap and seek it out? Exactly. So we'll see how it happens. Um, I I think my problem here in New York was that I focused my energy on being okay and that's so why i got what i wanted I, I i got exactly what i wanted you know i said i wanted to do i wanted to be a job where i can be paying my bills and be okay pay my phone bill sleep eat and be all right and that's what i wanted as opposed to focusing my energy on my goals my passion my career what did i what did i really want i want to be a makeup artist and because i didn't because i settled on my career for what's attainable and what's easy that's what i got i didn't take the chance i didn't make the effort but this is, this is my, my second opportunity. It's never too late for anybody, any age, whatever, mm -hmm. um, to kind of make it happen. And this is it for me. This is it. Mm -hmm. No problem. Keep it um, open and down safe. Okay. Sit there, my eyes are telling me something you can never see. Something like.